We are looking at the effects of 2,4-D, which is a common herbicide that's used in our lakes around here to control Eurasian water milfoil. Eurasian water milfoil is a very nasty invasive species that creates these mats all over the surface. And we're looking to see how this herbicide impacts the early life stages of native Wisconsin fish. And we're focusing today pretty heavily on fathead minnows. This is a very unique herbicide. Most people think herbicide, they think adding it to the agriculture world, adding it to crops. But this is a herbicide where we're actually putting it into our lakes. We do a lot of this work um, in the laboratory. So we kind of designed two sets of experiments that utilize more natural lake water. We have what's called a mobile exposure system that takes water directly from the lake, brings it up into a head tank, mixes it around, and then distributes it to the rest of the tanks where all the fish are held. And then we have an in-situ or an in-lake exposure system. And this is an exposure system that's built basically with two liter buckets with holes in them. We mimic it then to what goes on uh, during an actual active herbicide treatment. The DNR permits 2,4-D into this lake. They will go and apply 2,4-D to this whole entire lake. It'll kind of equalize to a certain concentration. And then we will see kind of how that herbicide treatment affects the the two systems that we have going on. The really cool thing about this project is we get to actually work with lake associations that are doing the 240 treatments themselves. So overall, what your goal is, is to build this risk assessment guide that says, okay, if you want to treat this invasive species, you can treat with X herbicide, or you could do Y or Z, and all of it kind of gives you this little idea of which is the best way that we don't hurt our environment.